Shell Point resident Henry Hall has been exposed to the world of astronomy all his life. His mother, Harriet Parsons, who had a doctorate in astrophysics, taught astronomy and met some legendary scientists along the way. Well, she was born in 1892 and then went to Vassar. And after Vassar, she got, a, I guess, an MA and I was an uh, instructor at Vassar in, in astronomy, then went and got a PhD at, at uh, Chicago. And Yerkes is the Chicago Observatory. It's in Williams Bay in Wisconsin, up the coast. During the war, she taught at Hunter College in New York. During the war, all the astronomers were teaching in navigation, you know, so they needed astronomy instructors. She also taught at adult school, you know, at night in, uh, in New Jersey, South Orange, New Jersey, where I was brought up, uh, and they had a telescope there. And of course, night, of course, was good for, for astronomy, <laughs> and uh, she enjoyed that. Then astronomers had to be teachers. You know, it's not exciting. If I were, if it was like now, I think I wouldn't mind going into astronomy. It's pretty exciting. But back then, if you were an astronomer, you became a teacher. Now she, she, of course, went to all the astronomy uh, meetings, astronomical society, and she knew Shapley and she knew Hubble. She thought Hubble was sort of a brash young fellow. I don't know if there's anything there that made her say that, but, uh, and all the other astronomers at the time, you know, they were going to meetings, and this was just before Hubble discovered that nebula were distant galaxies, not just fuzzy things up there, and I think she always wished she had discovered that, because, you know, I think women that have had a career and then married often go back and say, gee, what could I have done, you know, what if I kept going? And once in a while she sort of expressed that, uh, that feeling. And I think it probably was, boy, if she, had, if she had done what Hubble had done, she'd be, been very happy, I guess, yes. Eclipses and things, she got involved in there and looked for them. She didn't, I don't think she traveled anywhere to, particularly to see them, but maybe she did. I don't remember doing that. But uh, if there was a partial eclipse or something, of course, we all got excited about that, yeah. While attending the University of Chicago, Henry's mother had the opportunity to meet Albert Einstein at Yerkes Observatory. Well, she was there, she, that's, she was going to school there. and that, That's the only observatory he went to. He, it was in 1921, May 7th or something it says on that thing. And it's the only university I think that he went to when that, on that visit, it was a short visit. And, it went, and Yerkes was a famous observatory that uh, Telescope is, I think, the biggest refractor, the biggest straight line telescope, you know, big spyglass, that's what it is. And uh, after that, they made mi mirrors, which are much, you know, the short reflector. It's much easier to make a big mirror than a big, big lens. You, that's not easy to make. So that 40 inch, that was a 40 inch piece of glass uh, on that one. And uh, it was a famous, famous telescope. She finally when my father died, went to a nursing home in, in Orange, New Jersey, and then came up to live with me uh, in, in Concord, Massachusetts. And uh, after when I got married again, she kindly left to go in the nursing home up there in Concord and eventually died in 93. Like mother, son Henry pursued a science-based career. I was an electrical engineer, and I <laughs> lived in Concord, Massachusetts. Went to school in Cong and I went first to Williams College and then MIT, and uh, was married and lived in Lincoln, Mass, and then Concord, Mass, and worked for a very old company, a famous old company, General Radio Company, which turned into GenRed. And they started in 1915, and we made all sorts of testing equipment, oscillators, and some of the early oscilloscopes. But I, I uh, worked in particularly in measuring impedance, electrical impedance. If you you must know something about that sort of thing and had an interesting career, about 40 years at, at General Radio, yes. I designed many instruments and wrote a lot of papers, had a few patents. Today, Henry enjoys a leisure lifestyle here at Shell Point. Uh, I see my wife every morning, and I read, and I play some music and read often and watch ball games. And of course, I'm a Red Sox fan. I used to go to the, take the kids to the ballpark, Henry Park. Seen partial eclipses before, I think, yes, I remember. Uh, but you know, See pictures of them too, that's probably better than watching.